Okay, this is all for you.
Okay, this probably sounds the most different from the album take. This is um, Sandman. Feels like I'm stuck in the sour glass. I'm running out of sadness. To the past, the chimes are striking past my time. Oh, send man, help me, I'm in need. The hours are fading fast, I can't switch off enough to sleep. My dreams are keeping rest. This track's called Someday. Without a sound 
Um, should we do home? I was just thinking that too. <laughs> With All right. With. With. Yeah. Okay. Just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. This is a song called Home. Not a lot of gigs that we don't play this at, um, but this is a cover, Johnny Cash. Are you going to say the name of the song as well? Yeah. <laughs> Folsom Prison Blues. <laughs> By Johnny Cash. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes.
Ellen Rigby. Yeah. Ellen Rigby. Yeah. Good go. So this is um, another cover that we're doing today. Um, this is a song called Eleanor Rigby. Up the rice in a church where a wedding has been. Lives in a dream, waits by the window, wearing a face that she keeps in a jar by the door. Who is it for? Writing the words to a sermon that no one will hear No one comes near here, look, look at him working Darning his socks in the night when there's nobody there What does he care? Wiping the dirt from his hands as he walks from the grave No one was saved, all the lonely people Where do they all come from? All the lonely people Where do they all belong? Okay, this is a song called Children of the City.
Cherry Pie. So coming out of that track, the first thing you heard was Dream of Apollo eating up some chocolate. <laughs> 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 Not that Sarah picked one. It is a pre-recorded interview. I just decided to start there. Just, just gone for the caramel one, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's went strawberry. Strawberry. Oh. Oh. My personal trainer was saying that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Apples and grapes. Happen in the future, you might have learned that chocolate off by now. It's <laughs> 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 confusing. It's getting it's very chronologically weird, weird. Yeah. already. We've only just started the interview. Um, <laughs> um, the track you have just heard is uh, Ruby Macintosh with Cherry Pie from her debut album, Ruby Macintosh. If you uh, listen in two weeks ago, you would have heard her performing live on the set. Well, Two weeks ago was a repeat of the two weeks before that because I couldn't make it in. So you'll have heard it twice. Uh, if you haven't, you can go to the podcast, phoenixfm.co.uk, and then just click on uh, Shows and Podcasts. Click on Sunday and click on The Yubs, which is me. And you can find all the stuff there. And uh, at the end of this show, this show will be available as it's a pre record. So I can get it straight up. And I'm joined in the studio by Dream of Apollo. Hello! Hello! And um, they've come all the way from York, which is a bit of a trek just to come and see little old me. Not too bad. <laughs> And I think it's mostly the chocolate, really, isn't it? But the chocolate was a, a drop. down nicely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I've got to thank you very much for coming down. Uh, I've got to thank you for doing the set as well, because that was flipping amazing. Ah. Oh, um, right. What you didn't hear on air was a big discussion about which tracks could also be played and which <laughs> couldn't. And there's, if I had more time, I would play them all. <laughs> Oh. Assuming you wanted to play them, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Not like forcing you to play music. You won't let us no. leave. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
quite a chew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's all gone rather weird. Um, hope, <laughs> hopefully, it's not the weirdest radio show that you've done, as I know um, little bits and pieces of the past. I'm going to go straight there before I do the history of the band and everything. I like to be, you know, I, I need to know what I'm aiming for and what I need to surpass. So in, I did get an email from yourself, Reese, that you said, uh, we've been asked in the past what our weirdest eBay purchase was. I still don't know. I still, it was about four years ago. So I have no idea. It's still so, thinking. Yeah. Still thinking. It's, it's obviously a deep and meaningful question yeah. to have lasted four years in your memory. Yeah, yeah. I need to there. think of something that's going to do the same thing. Oh, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, now I feel it. What was it? What was the other one? Ghosts. Do we believe in ghosts? Um, and do you, Sarah? <laughs> believe in ghosts? Do you, Sarah? I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. I have, I've never had a ghostly experience. Maybe if I experience something oh. otherworldly, maybe we'll buy one on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that some kind of paranormal <laughs> slavery? I was just trying to link it up, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't do that. It's an interview. I'm the one that's supposed to shut up. Uh, it is an interview. If you've just tuned in, um, it's gone a bit funny. So <laughs> we'll get rid of the useless stuff, and we'll actually go into properly talking about stuff. Um, Dream of Apollo. How long have you guys been together? I think it's been about five years. Five, five, six years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been with us for about a year now. Yeah. Start yeah. this year. Like January, February? Yeah. yeah. You've gone through a few members, haven't you, Vic? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounds good. Like uh, <laughs> <laughs> Vicky's the only surviving original member. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to the other ones, Vicky? Killed them. <laughs> right. <laughs> for legal purposes. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all lovely people. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been in the band for, I don't know, two or three years? Yeah, since yeah. Ireland. Yeah, it was about three years ago. Yeah. 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 Other than that, Reese is probably the long, yeah, the longest serving time. You sound weary, Reese. I think he's nervous about his neck being next on the block. How much longer have I got left, Vic? Oof. I don't know, you make a good cup of tea, so I might keep it a bit longer. So what sort of process did you go through to in joining the band was it you already knew each other beforehand or was it kind of like a uh, we need a we need a guitarist some open audition kind of thing or it was a bit, a bit like X Factor three of them sat imagine that a Spanish chair big high trousers who got you off Gumtree yeah that was, that was, that was, that was a Gumtree purchase yeah so. yeah fact yeah uh, I knew you. Yeah, I we already knew each other, yeah. and we'd um, played together a few times, haven't mm -hmm. we? Um, and then you brought Sarah in. Yeah, I met Sarah yeah. at a gig. Mm -hmm. so yeah. a mutual friend. Yeah. Who's also learning the cello, and <laughs> you, you suggested what she had the confidence to play some songs, and she said, "Oh, not me, but this one." She's been playing for ages. <laughs> so thank yeah. you, Hannah. Roped so in. You. Yeah. Yeah. We're roped in. Well, it's <laughs> kicking into your head. See what you can do on this one song, and then, oh, oh yeah. on this song, I'll oh, try this one. Can you do this one and play? Yeah, it was literally like we were doing the album. Um, and it was a case of, have you listened to this song? Now, go, go, just go have a sit down, have a little listen, give a one run through, and it was record. <laughs> whatever yeah. you can think of, record. Oh, well. Yeah, and that is spot. what's on the album, yeah. essentially. But it does you sound good. You put on the spot. Yeah. yeah, you did well. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> so. Is that every time you hear the cello on the album, it's a one take recording kind of thing, or you've listened there to it once and then just a, a couple of takes? But it was a case of with something now, now, yeah. and then hit record, and then a couple of takes yeah. of that, and then yeah, definitely for. We're Sandman, not knowing that mean, but it worked. Yeah, so. someone uh, <laughs> really stood out because he just came out with this killer riff. Home just, is the I mean, worst. Home, they made me do that, and then. It didn't make the album. We scrapped it, yeah. Is <laughs> 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 that how the truth is? I've just got online polls. Put a bit of thought into it now. <laughs> <laughs> so was the intention always to, to bring a cellist into the band full-time, or was it just a kind of, we want to embellish this track a bit more? 
I, don't, I think yeah, it was just to sort of the album, but then she turned up and she was really good, so we kept her. Yeah, <laughs> I think was it uh, that track "Children of the City" that we initially thought this would sound good with cello. Yeah, 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 I think so. Um, and we we're just blown away by what Sarah did. Oh, <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, so we go, oh, try this one, try this one, and then. Um, it was no, you can't still with it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's annoying how whenever we play a gig, everyone just comments on how good the cello is. But, you know, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> Are you all right with the cello? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not something you see in a, in, especially in a stage performing band. Yeah, definitely. Uh, very often, you get it quite often in recording bands that just mm. do the odd occasional, uh, just acoustic gig. But when you've got a fully recorded album and then playing fully like electric shows as well. It's not something you see very often. Mm-hmm. No. It works. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not like a, a gimmick or anything. It really does. It does work, and it does. I think it's. <laughs> you just called Sarah a gimmick. <laughs> I said it's just not a gimmick. Not a gimmick. Just a bit of a gimmick. <laughs> no, <it's> not, a <laughs> not a gimmick. Not a gimmick, Sarah. Wow. Have had anyone walk out of a recording? <laughs> <laughs> We were all really good friends before that. <laughs> Please don't do a uh, pine for cedars. <laughs> Please, I feel really responsible. <laughs> uh, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, if you listen to the Pine for Cedars podcast, you'll hear me mention the 12 reasons to split up, and they actually had 12 <laughs> fights within the little show. And then a couple of weeks later, they decided to split up. So please don't do that. Maybe you're psychic. Maybe you just. I really not. I would use my powers to win the lottery. That's yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't want to be splitting up bands. <laughs> <laughs> Evil it's like bands. Evil <laughs> make, make money, split up bands. <laughs> no. Uh, so how long have you guys individually been playing your instruments, and how did you decide what to pick up? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Should we start at the left and go around just so yeah. it's in order? Yeah. Go left and then I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> in that case, should we start at the right? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I've, I've been playing guitar since I was about 16. Um, I started off playing the violin actually, but I was rubbish at it, and it's just hard to stay in tune. Whereas guitars have frets, and I used to play my violin like a like a banjo, and I quite like that. And then my neighbour gave me a guitar, and then I've just been playing it since for about 16 years, but badly for 16 years. <laughs> How about you, Vic? Uh, for me, I used to play lots of different stuff at school, but guitar. Um, started playing at uni, um, just because it was something I could sing along to then. Can't really sing along to a trumpet, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I've been playing cello for 15 years-ish, since I was little. I don't know, I, think, I don't remember if I tried any of the instruments, but um, my first teacher just came to a primary school and <laughs> on the hunt for students, and I just went home and said, that's the one for me. And a lot of uh, that sound a little sinister. I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, I just knew. Did you not just know the guitar? Did you not find? Oh yeah. I'm in the hunt for students, but oh, not that. <laughs> not that. <laughs> <I'm new. laughs> uh, yeah, and the rest is history. Uh, about, about the same. About, about 15 years, I think. Playing bass for. Got a guitar off my uncle and just. Sat playing along to records and stuff, uh, and then joined a few bands and things, and then yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> 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 oh. That was what you thought of in the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it, it, but <laughs> I couldn't think about better to say really. Oh, sorry. It's, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's feelings now, mate. Okay. We've all turned on each other. It's not <laughs> mean in this room. It's him. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually his powers again. <laughs> I'll put my hands up and say, I'm not, I don't mean it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's not me because I don't know, it might just be an aura. <laughs> a pan splitting aura. Oof. It makes it sound even worse. <laughs> um, <laughs> should we take a quick break and play one of the tracks off of the album? Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Which one do you want to go for? Um, should you do two last two late? Yeah, two yeah. last two late. Yeah. In that case, I will go one, two, three, four, five, because that's how upgraded these CD players are. <laughs> we're, in, we're in the second studio for anybody that listens to Phoenix quite often. In the main studio, I could just press five. Here, I've got to skip all the way through the album. Uh, so yeah, do you want to introduce it and tell us a little bit about it? Okay, this is um, two last two late. 
Um, it's one that me and Winston wrote together. Yeah. One of the times that we got along. So, oh. uh, <laughs> 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 so come on. Uh, <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Are we too lost, too late to change to 
Too Lost Too Late Dream of Apollo from the album which is awesome by the way Thank you. Alpha um, I think uh, it's on SoundCloud isn't it Yep. And you can listen to it. Uh, just three of the tracks on SoundCloud. Three of the tracks. Yeah, on but we're, it's all on Bandcamp. And okay. Spotify and, and iTunes. Spotify too. And Play. Amazon. Yeah. You can buy it from us personally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Which I would recommend because you get a disc. And a yeah, trip, it's nice. And it's a, a disc, lot better. Yeah. yeah. You get the little booklet of words. So good. Yeah. Book of words nice and pictures. Yes. And the artwork, which is really good, by the way. Yeah. Who's done that for you? So there's um, a, a York artist called Nell. So she does a lot of paintings and she did that for us, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she is amazing. Good, I've got a couple of paintings at home of hers. She's a good one. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about the album. That was actually the first one that you recorded, yeah? That's right, yeah. That really um, really spurred us on. So we've, um, it's our debut album and we recorded that one. And then uh, a guy called Ian Bolton, who, who recorded it for us, he mixed it as well. And once he played that back to us, I just remember sitting in the little room so and listening blown, back, and we were just blown away. And just like, wow, we can sound this good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, that's it. <laughs> I know, that's a bit, yeah. <laughs> but we, we were really impressed with what Ian did. <laughs> we don't really sound that good. And we do, and we don't. But, uh, <laughs> do we? <laughs> <laughs> Just from the live performance that was going on earlier. Yes, you too. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we do sound quite good. Okay. So that really spurred us on anyway to do the rest of the the album and give us the yeah. Because we've we done quite a lot of um, like just rough recordings before to, to work on different layers of it and things, but that's just just the quality of it was far better than anything we've done before. Yeah, definitely. Whew. Yeah, it's good. It's a good rescue, Abby. Thanks. Good rescue. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I want to say how long was the process, but obviously writing, recording, and, and everything else is all part of that. Did you write specifically for this album? Was it a no. collection of songs that you've had before and then added a couple more? Or um, yeah, it was definitely a, a collection of stuff because we we had quite a lot of original stuff in just the sets that we were doing. So we recorded as many as we could in the time we had and just picked the best ones. Yeah, there's, only, there's only one, isn't there? When, when I started playing with you, there's only one. That we played at that point. That's that's on the album. What, someday. Someday. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I yeah. That's an oldie. It's an oldie. That yeah. one. I'm not really bothered, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so nothing was written specifically for the album. Then. It was all just a collection of uh, stuff that you'd already got. Yeah, I think I think yeah. um, all for you was probably the the newest one, but I think we'd already decided to do. Yeah, we we were like we were so keen to get this album done because. The band been together for like, like we said earlier, about five years, mm. and um, yeah, we just really, really wanted an album, and it was yeah, it was just absolutely brilliant to be able to get our best tracks and get them all down, and we were really, really happy with it. Mm. Yeah, we did do one recording that isn't on the album, um, but when we were raising money to do to actually make it, we did a thing called Pledge Music, um, and that was where people could like pre-order albums and merchandise and all all types of stuff that we were doing. Um, and this American guy called Jason Huffman uh, paid for us to write a song for him. Um, so yeah, that one. It's probably nice. the only one that's specific for the album, isn't it? Specific. Well, specific, specific around the album. Yeah, it's not on the album. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, we recorded that for Jason, and you can see that. Um, we can see that on YouTube soon, can't you? <laughs> might be there now. I'm very excited. Might be there now. I don't know. The link. Possibly. It's a song called Pieces. It will be on YouTube. Imminently, if not already. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be um, releasing a song a week on YouTube. We did some live recordings at the back of um, Acorn Pub in the beer garden there, yeah. which is on a sunny day, so we're still wearing shorts and flip flops and stuff. You can buy CDs nice. from there as well. Can you? Have a pint at the same time, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Good advertising. Yeah. Yeah. Good Free advertising. If I'm working, you can buy me a pint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we works there too. <laughs> Wednesday nights normally. It's <laughs> good point. If I'm not, you can get me one in, and I'll have it next time. <laughs> <laughs> not just where people's decisions are. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, it's gone random again. <laughs> So the actual uh, recording of the album, how long did that take from start to finish? 
I think do we start doing some stuff in like November um, yeah, to do two last two late but then there was like a bit of a gap and then probably January to yeah I mean May? I mean that was this month was it April was it April the launch was end of April oh, yeah. yeah we'll so have a couple of girls we'll have a couple of different girls that doing it haven't we so probably all the yeah. took about two years <laughs> when you think about it <laughs> <laughs> well, all the, all the run-ups. Yeah, yeah, yeah all, all the, the false starts. False start. Yeah, yeah so it didn't we work tried in the bedroom. a few different methods of recording, and this was the best. So we in the end, we decided we just need to spend a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and go for it. So I think Melrose were happy about that. That was <laughs> yeah, and we did it o- over the recordings we did at Melrose, which are all the ones on this CD. We we did over a few months, but actually, in reality, it was just a few sessions, maybe mm. only four or five sessions, I Probably. guess. We really. did a few days because I, I live yeah. in London, so it was whenever I could get up to practice yeah. I've recorded everyone mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah what's the matter Sarah <laughs> <laughs> dealing with the chocolates because <laughs> the book's just gone it's made a really loud noise wait tell me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've sensitive good to this microphone <laughs> I don't have another chocolate Sarah <laughs> if you've left any <laughs> So, even though it, even though it took a while to do it, it, was a fairly short amount of time actually in the studio. Yeah, if you put it back to back all the time we've been studio, it'd be less than a week, I reckon. Twelve yeah. hours actually recording. Would you say? No, oh, I think that's about right. Yeah, it's pretty speedy. Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's it's the quality of the first day. Come on, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the next yeah. one. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was a machine. She'd be put her in a little room and she'd have to do acoustic guitar yeah. and then she'd have to sing and then she'd have to sing harmonies. And, uh, I had to do the acoustic guitar. You don't know what to do. Yeah, to, basically every, every take, we were doing it in like separate layers, but because I was obviously singing to keep things together and was doing the right bits, I was doing all of the takes. <sighs> oh, <laughs> well done. Thanks. That's all I was waiting for, that one. Yeah. <laughs> I just want some validation. <laughs> <laughs> so, what kind of um, response have you had from the album? A bit like that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> tumbleweed. <laughs> no, we've had um, a lot of really positive comments. Actually, people we've given to have really, really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, people we've given them to. <laughs> and sold to. <laughs> there yes. go. No, yeah. it's, I, it does seem to be a real range of people that like it. So that's quite. I think there's a, there's a real mix of songs mm. on there, so it seems to appeal yeah. to everyone. Yeah, what we found, it's really interesting, we asked everyone on Facebook, like, what's your favourite track? And it was really revealing, actually, because lots of people like all different tracks, and there wasn't mm. one track that no one said was their favourite, which I thought was really interesting. So mm. that's quite nice that people like, you know, people like the different parts of the album, and there's mm. quite a range of songs on there. just added it out with any songs. No, no fillers. <laughs> <laughs> all thrillers all something like that thrill. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah there's good variety on there I think mm-hmm. yeah so if, if anybody was to ask you um, what style is Dream of Apollo oh big sigh really, what would you say it's, well, yeah. so we've, like, I think <clears throat> for when we do the acoustic ones it's pretty I don't know country rock folk, folk yeah ish um, no? No? Mm, what would you say, Reese? Well, a bit of it in there, I guess. Bits, <laughs> a bit of blues. I don't know. And the electric's a bit more, probably indie. But we get to, we, oh, when we did the tour, we don't, you don't like it? No. Alternative? Yeah, I like the yeah, word alternative. Yeah, Lancaster Music Festival, in their little booklet, they describe this as neo folk and alternative. They also said we're from Manchester. Oh, they did. Swing a miss. Yeah. That's how it's Neo-folk. None of us know what neo folk is. Sounds good. Maybe that sums us up, which you didn't realise. Did they miss an N off and they were expecting, like, the porgs dressed in all bright Maybe. Oh my God, my God. Acid folk. Acid folk. <laughs> yeah. That's a strange and scary concept. Because <laughs> listening through, if I had to, it is a tricky one to do because it's kind of energetic but also quite mellow, which is mm. complete opposites yeah. of what you would be able to think of. Because mellow yeah. isn't energetic, but energetic yeah. isn't mellow. But they, it does seem to meld together really well throughout the entire album. Yeah. I think um, it's because Rui sits down a lot. I think that brings the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never seen him play a gig stood up. 
Oh, yeah, once or twice. <laughs> 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 there it is. Yeah. It's, good, it's good to say uh, the bit where you strap onto this one. I love. That's why I sit down there. On his face. I heard him say strap on. I don't know where to see where he's going. Wow. <laughs> You're offending. <laughs> uh, do you want to play another one? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we're going to play uh, Regrets of the Devil. It's the first song on the track. That's me pressing back a lot. Because <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> Why would I? Keep uh, it real. <laughs> do you want to say anything about the track? Um, we all got very excited about the storm cloud effect. Yeah, <laughs> thunder. Thunder cloud. Thunder at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> <yep>. <laughs> In that case, let's hear it. <laughs> This world 
like that a lot. Stop me. Thank you. We were uh, we were discussing the pacing of it, and I said it again. It was. Uh, what did I say? You said mellow. mellow. Mellowly energetic or energetically mellow, and you both like. Uh, no, it's like a running song. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, we were just talking randomly, as I usually do, but off mic this time, and we came around to the tour, which we haven't even mentioned yet. Mm. Oh. Uh, you guys have just been on tour. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me a bit about that, how it came about. And... Reese is our tour manager, aren't you, Reese? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this will be your question then. I'll just put that yeah. to the bottom there. That's it. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, we just had to find. Uh, a time when we were all free, um, which was at yeah. um, so Winston's teaching, and then uh, booked a few gigs. <laughs> that's, it. that's it. Next yeah, question. That's, that's, it. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one where they didn't know we were turning up. Right, you, you'll have to explain that. How does yeah. a venue not know the band's turning oh, up? God. Well, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, I think they changed management a few times bef- yeah. before. And the promotions sort of company that you booked it with stopped yeah, working with the venue. That's right. Which mm-hmm. is um, now. So we, me and Winston went to check it out and I'd have a sneaky yeah. beer and then just said, Who are you? <laughs> 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 yeah, that was a good So we, went to, we ended up going to the Cavern Club instead of Liverpool and having a, a few beers there and that was yeah. good night. Made yeah. the best of it. Yeah. <laughs> so whereabouts did you play? Because you went all over the place, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's like Lancaster, uh, yeah. Eaglescliff, yeah, York, we went, uh, Pickering, Cambridge, Pickering, York, Birmingham. Birmingham. Not Liverpool. Not Liverpool. Well, I played right. Liverpool. Oh yeah, yeah. I did on my. Oh yeah, did so, Tick for me. But, yeah. Birmingham. Birmingham. Okay. Birmingham London. London, few, London. Brighton. Yeah, yeah quite a few. Yeah. 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 I don't, I've, could you pick a favourite out of them? Uh, we were discussing this in the, in the mm-hmm. car before we got different ones. Yeah. I, I like the, the York one and the uh, we did a, a gig on a boat in London. That was good. Yeah, that was really nice. Yeah. And Eagles yeah. Cliff, absolutely, with all the family. A bit wobbly to start with. That, <laughs> yeah, and then I got out and it was alright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the one in Cambridge that we did. We had a lot of friends and some family there too. That was really nice. Yeah. We did yeah. a bit of a, um, a tour around the parents. So yeah, we did. Funnily enough, the tours worked out that we could stay at parents' houses nearby. <laughs> <laughs> so rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, st- we stayed at some other places as well. Yeah. Non parent related. <laughs> free place to stay, free bit of food. Yeah. It's a smart way to do it, I yeah. think. Yeah. More money for drink. <laughs> and do you notice a, a difference in the crowd all over the country? Like, is, is a London crowd different to a York crowd and is a Birmingham different to Liverpool? Or? Yeah, we didn't really have a Birmingham crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that's, that's really, a good point. There's a fellow who at the end came and told us how much he didn't like us. We'd gone for a bit of a break yeah. and then uh, when we come back there was a fellow sat right in front of where we were playing. We I thought you playing, enjoyed it, we played the whole time. Yeah. 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 And then at the end we asked him. made the mistake. Him being the only yeah. person that been there. Yeah, rest of what he thought. And well. Yeah, <laughs> Brighton we played to some last mopping the floor, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. Right, we did rates. have some good gigs, but they, yeah. were, they yeah. were the, yeah. the low point, so. Well, <laughs> we ended <yeah. laughs> on a high, though, didn't yeah. we? London was really, really yeah. good. To be fair, that Birmingham one, when we got back, they, wouldn't, they didn't turn the uh, backing music off. At the no, no, that's the other CD. We were playing against yeah. that. Yeah. Name and shame, what's the bar? Blend. Was it Cafe Blend? <laughs> just jump in there. <laughs> yeah. They're never going to have us back. Yeah. Uh, uh, Do you nice. want to go back? No. <laughs> Probably not. No. Oh, but no, there were some really nice good gigs. They went, yeah. but there were some good ones. Yeah. Oh, and Harrogate as well. Harrogate was really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. We played at the Blues Bar in Harrogate. That was mm-hmm. it. That was great. Great little venue. Nice people. Had a good night. Yeah, really nice. That was really good. good. Yeah, we played at the Lancaster. Lancaster. Lancaster at their music festival, didn't we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good festival. And uh, yeah, our final gig was in, was it Streatham? Did you say? <laughs> I don't know how you would say it. Place in London, London yes. South West Streatham. London. We thought it was Streatham, or Streatham, but no, apparently it's Streatham. The White Lion, is that yes. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, that was really, really good. Really good um, a pub that um, is a, like a music venue as well. Um, has a lot of music going on there most days of the week. I yeah. feel like I'm promoting them now, but they were great. <laughs> we would like to come back, so if you have us back, that'd be <laughs> ace, isn't it? <laughs> the good part really is you've got to promote because obviously yeah. you want to go back, but you want to have other bands going and yeah. having the same yeah. kind of experience. Yeah, well, they, yeah. they've got a charity, haven't they? Um, oh, yeah, it was like music, music for children. children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it is, yeah, there were a few bands playing that night and it was all and they do innate, different events and charity. Things, yeah. yeah. So they've cool. done their. 
they had a big picture on the wall, the mm-hmm. highest gig in the world, some mountain range and some <laughs> guy on guitar. So yeah, yeah they're the longest gig really in the world. Yeah. That's a nice gig. Yeah, I'm going back to the Leeds one. I'd, I'd recommend that one for anyone. If you uh, Monday nights are often quiet nights, but um, um, a guy called Gary Stewart, who we're all a big fan of, he's a he's a drummer in Hope and Social. He's got his own band and he plays bass in Ellen and the Escapades. He's a bit of a musical legend in Leeds. Really, he has his uh, night on a Monday. I've forgotten the name of the bar now. A Porto. So. A Porto. Yeah, oh, that's a really good night to go down to. Gaslight sessions. Mm. Gaslight oh, sessions. Yeah. yeah. And the sound quality is amazing. As a band, yeah, it's yeah. awesome when you can play and have really nice, um, you know, good monitors mm-hmm. and a really good sound guy. Mm-hmm. There's some really set good up um, really well. other actors on there, like that Emily White was his. Yeah, if you want to discover some good new music and mm-hmm. you live in or around Leeds, you get your books really good people, like us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a, much of a chance to gig in Leeds? Obviously, with you living in different kind of areas, it must be the first, 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 first time, time yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. Because <laughs> we've, yeah. um, we've done a few tours before, so it's not like we haven't gotten out of York. Yeah, yeah, just went through us the first time. We're, we've, we've done a, obviously loads in, in York. So we're, originally, we all lived in York, and Vicky's ran away to London now, yeah. sadly. We're trying to get her back, though. We're trying to get her back. <laughs> it is much better in York. It is much better in York, yeah. that's true. I can't say anything. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's too political. But it's <laughs> Why don't you move back to York, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I come up a lot. Do you do come up a lot. That M1. Put some effort. I don't know if I didn't move. every time I come up, I'm staying in your living room. Yeah. Just wake up and go and the bits crashed out on the floor. <laughs> So was the uh, was the tour just a, like a random we need to get out there kind of thing, or was it more to promote the album? It's for the album. Yeah. Really. Like we we for the last three years we've we've done a tour. Um, like I think we did Southern Ireland the first time, then like UK and Holland, some random places. Um, mm, yeah. And then this was more for the album. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try and do another one. Um, so. Sort of beginning of the next year at some point mm-hmm. and will that again be as part of the album kind of push or is that a maybe test out some new stuff for a new album oh, be good to it'll be hopefully with the new drummer yeah we might have, we have, have happened we might have a drummer now oh yeah oh, <laughs> so yeah. so <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Mon- what for us is Monday night well, it's still be Monday night, but <laughs> it's like <laughs> tomorrow night. Um, we are having a run. The 25th of November. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, God, I can't think straight. Um, we're trying out a, a, a new drummer. Um, he seems really good. Casper. <laughs> um, yeah, so it'll be with him. It'll, it'll be a full electric tour. Yeah, because this tour we've just done was all acoustic. Yep. And like our album, um, where we had two different drummers drumming with us. So in the moment, we're in between, in between drummers. So... We're looking forward to to being louder and a bit rockier again and mm. sounding a bit more like the album. We've had um, one kind of jam with him and absolutely blew us away. He's just all playing with big smiles mm, on our faces. He's a bit good. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. complete dorks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you've got the when you've got the new drummer, whether it's yeah. already happened or not, <laughs> timey wimey, weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's the plan for the next album, if there is a plan for the next album, or is it still too soon after this one to be thinking about it? Um, I still feel a little bit too soon. However, yeah. I think we're all really keen to start writing some new songs. Yeah, we um, can turn them out pretty quickly. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> lock me in a room soon. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get, we'll get another one done. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we've got a fair few of these albums still to shift. So go to, uh, <laughs> so we go to dreamofapollo.co.uk. You can see our Bandcamp page. <laughs> Have I said this already? You can <laughs> you say it again. You can, yeah, listen to our CD and um, you can buy it from there too, digitally or CD. For a very reasonable price. A very reasonable price. Uh, Ten pounds, I believe. Mm-hmm. That's the C- CD. For the CD. What is it for the download? Yeah. Copy seven uh, pounds, seven or eight pounds seven for the download. Eight. Yeah. My chocolate t shirt as well, I can't give them away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not true. We sold we we can sold give at least them one or two. <laughs> <laughs> Or you can buy a plectrum. We've got an extensive merch badges. range. Do you know, yeah. I haven't got a t-shirt. No. Why not? Don't know. Oh, it's no good, is it? 
You can buy one online, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> where, where do I go to get that? In? It's uh, dreamofapollo.co.uk. Okay. Yeah. I've got a bottle. <laughs> yeah, we've got plectrums actually glow in the dark. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're looking for them at a gig and can't buy yeah. them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I lose them all the time. Not the glow in the dark ones, just no. not the ones. I did have a question in my head, but it's now <laughs> it's now turned around to merch. Just now. hearing about the random bits and pieces. Yeah. What what's the sort of collection of stuff that you've got? Obviously, you've got the CD and the T-shirt. Uh, yeah. So bottle openers, stickers, posters, posters badges, badges, plectrums. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We decided to go for it, get as much as we could. Really. Yeah. <laughs> what's well, the decision process big. when you sort of looking at what you could move into next? Is like. Do we have a bottle opener? No. Do you want one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Always. It was like one of those, um, like a mixed package that we got on there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Vicky's mum's done some bootleg merch. Oh yeah, she has. She's under cutters. We've got, <laughs> you've got um, fridge magnets and key oh, meets yeah. now. Unbelievable. So. Thanks, yeah. yeah. And yeah, a lot of it's featuring, like Vicky mentioned earlier, this artist called Nell, who you're yeah. we're big fans of, or AKA Helen Batty. We definitely we're very thankful for she didn't take any money at all for, for doing that for us so we appreciate her yeah. for the t-shirt designs and stuff Esme? yeah 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 a, a girl called Esme um, designed the t-shirts for us she's really kind of she's only she's still at secondary school and um yeah, so thanks, Esme. Oh, nice. Best family yeah. cousin as well while we're thanking oh, yeah. people for doing it. Cousin Lydia did all their, their logos. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well. And thank, thanks to everyone that pledged and bought stuff yeah. to help us. Parents. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just waiting for a list to appear. <laughs> yeah. I really wasn't prepared for this, but uh, while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't think that got caught on the mic. <laughs> so, just uh, when we did our videos <laughs> um, at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we had to oh yeah we yeah so like I think I might have mentioned earlier, I keep saying that phrase a lot on YouTube we've got some videos going out soon we're going to release one a week and um, we, uh, we're we not very good at public speaking as you can probably tell and uh, we were asked that's the royal oh, week it's not me. Me. <laughs> yeah we were asked to uh I don't know, talk about ourselves with just one question, off you go and talk about yourselves. And I just <laughs> rambled on and on and started to get into religion and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Took a big hold so of myself. Who do, we, who do you thank? <laughs> God. <Nah. laughs> yeah, it got a little bit awkward. It spiraled out of control from there. Yeah, yeah I really hope they don't put any of that in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember just getting to it until we cut a bit. Yeah. Oh, man. Anything where we speak and just delete <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my face hurts. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good sign. <laughs> There's a cord. <laughs> uh, we are running through the show, and I've got a feeling I should stop talking, but I don't particularly want to. Um, <laughs> but when you're mentioning uh, the YouTube and putting stuff out once a week, yeah. are there any like fully uh, music video type recorded stuff that you're that you've got up there that you're planning possibly? We haven't yet, have we? No. No. Like when, when I hear them, I have some like really out there ideas for people. I don't think we're going to be able to do any of them. It's, it's like Hollywood budget styles. Yeah, we thought about picking a song and doing a, a proper video, but yeah. in the end, we decided to do just acoustic versions of every track. Yeah. Partly because we we didn't want to be too <laughs> cheesy. And we as well. Yeah. And we couldn't pick a song that we all thought was the the single. Yeah. If anyone would so like to, single. yeah. If anyone out there would like to help us record a video on a very free. tight budget <laughs> slash free, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be awesome. Explosions yeah. are optional. Yeah. That is something Depends we haven't got yet that we would definitely like to yeah, have in the future. Good. Yeah, mm. that'd be really good. So what's next for the band? Because mm. so obviously you've got a, you're planning a planning a tour already for the start of next year, or just wanting to plan one. Well into plan right at the minute. Yeah. We've, we've got some some venues that when we were well, when Reese was booking this tour, we c we couldn't either slot into the the schedule of it or they didn't have a time for us. So mm -hmm. probably get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I was going to be full in, so we're driving back to York. <laughs> I think the moment's passed. <laughs> it might, it might, you can edit it in. It's fine. Yeah. I probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the immediate goal at the moment is to to get 
a new drummer trained up mm-hmm. and to yeah, and yeah. get the sound sounding good. We're still oh, catching yeah. up on sleep from the from the, from the last tour. Yeah. So. yeah. I still don't feel like I should be doing my day job now. It's so like, oh, I'm a musician sleep pattern. It goes a bit random, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially, yeah. What, what was your... Pro, did you travel during the day and then play the gig at night, stay there and then travel again, or was it... A, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we stayed at the places we uh, played at, and yeah. then we'd travel the next day. I'm quite happy yeah. falling asleep in the back of the car. You were very, that was your top <laughs> skill. Oh, we should talk about people's skills. What? So, Sarah's what? top <laughs> skill... <laughs> oh, my God. Play the cello. Oh, oh, it was in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah's very good at uh, sleeping. Um... <laughs> Out like a light. Now, Reese, <laughs> Reese, however, has a very good uh, does a very good Wookiee impression. Oh, yeah. I think it'll be perfect for the radio. <laughs> the big didn't play their pets. That was a bit. Oh, unlucky. Oh, <laughs> Reese, you're gonna let down all the listeners. At Phoenix FM. You're gonna be stranded in Halifax. It's a long walk. Oh, sounds like you're not getting in the car until you do it. No, no. Mm. Well, Reese, no pressure. Maybe oh. later. Maybe. Oh. 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 I like just the look on his face. Is like. I'll walk. <laughs> <laughs> Be fine. Vicky also is a very good rooster. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, anyway, it's too loud. <laughs> is it? Would it be too loud? Yeah, I can noise. turn the mics down while you do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've got some very dry throat. I think we've got laryngitis. Uh, oh, I let down. What's, <laughs> your, oh, what's your skill? Come on, Winston. <laughs> Dropping people in it. <laughs> yeah, if you come, if you come to a gig and buy a, buy an album, maybe we'll do some animal noises. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't incentive. laughs> That's the next pledge campaign. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> For every increase in amount, you get a different noise. Yeah. <laughs> Bookies, roosters, Sarah'll sleep. I don't know. Oh my god! So there's a travel pillow. <laughs> Really hot again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, most people interview like this, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird show. I think I rub off on people quite a lot. Um, the ab- abundance of sugar helps as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My face really hurts from not just laughing and smiling too much. I'm really glad there's no TV when I do smile. That's quite the face. <laughs> <laughs> and that was before I started. <laughs> Uh, we are pretty much running down now. Uh, I said I didn't want to stop. I do have to because I'm limited by time. Um, but I want to play another one off the album. So what do you guys recommend? Is it Anatole maybe? Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think Anatole would be a good one. Yeah. You can hear that coming through. It's all the way at the end of the album. So um, let's have a think. How many of these didn't actually get played today in one form or another? Uh, I don't know. Mind, yeah, we did yeah, do mine. Oh, Just mine and Anatole. And on the end of Anatole, there's a, a hidden track called Dead Pets. Ooh. Oh, well, that's well, the secret. It's not anymore, is it? Ruined. Trade uh, secrets. Edit point, there's a secret <laughs> <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Might work. I don't know. I was getting a bit worried when I looked over there and saw 10 minutes and 20 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, dead pets comes with a, has to come with a disclaimer though, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it? If, if you had lost any pets uh, recently, or you, you're really sensitive to stuff like that, I don't listen to dead pets. Yeah. <laughs> but still do buy the album. Yes. <laughs> Just yeah. get to the end of the last track and stop. Yeah, stop. Just stop. Just <laughs> yeah. Oh dear me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back at the end of the show. Um, uh, first off I want to thank you guys again for coming all the way down or or depending on where you were at the time (laughs) our pleasure we've gone west and north have we we? London oh that's true geography (laughs) (laughs) geography (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but yeah thanks for coming in Uh, thanks for playing the set which was awesome if you missed the set by the way if you tuned in too late for that you're an idiot Um, but you can listen to the podcast at the end of this show if you go to phoenixfm.co.uk click on shows and podcasts click on Sunday because it is Sunday click on yubs because this is the yubs then you can find the podcast right there that's the easiest way to do it and you can download it uh, two hours in full or okay anything out and you can have it totally free Sweet. how good's that? it's pretty good it's amazing good, yeah. Yeah. but if you want to hear th- <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hear any of the tracks that haven't been played today from the album uh, you can get them from all kinds of places yeah. which you're about to be told of now oh Spotify. Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Play, 
Facebook, Bandcamp, YouTube, YouTube. Twitter. Ooh. Oh, it's Ooh. like Mallet's Mallet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, find something. Yeah. Yeah. Perky per- peacocks in York. People make them as jewels. She needs to run for her Christmas puddings. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go to the acorn instead. Oh. I serve coffee there as well. So. What about round the round? But don't order coffee when I'm there because it's what's going in the back. Carry on. I think we all have some honours at some point. So if you've not been to us, I'm sure you can buy us buy them. And go to a gig. Yes. Oh, yeah, come to a gig. Gigs. When are the next gigs? Oh. I don't think we have any booked at the minute, have we? No. No. We've got ideas. Yeah, yeah, we have. <laughs> no, nothing firmly booked. So we've got pencils months. in, but nothing, yeah. nothing in it. Right. Right. Sort of middle yeah, so follow us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll let you know. Yeah. Best yeah. yeah. way to do it. Yeah. We might have one by now. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> By the time this has gone out, they might have booked one. So do look at the Facebook and the Twitter, because it'll already be on there. Oh, I saw, I saw the Doctor Who today. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Times. It's not linear anymore. Perhaps some more chocolates there. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we'll go to the last song on the album. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> these guys have been Dreams of Apollo. They still are. Yep. Or Dream of Apollo. Dream I keep putting an S on, I don't know why. Oh, yeah. do. Dream of Apollo. Yeah. <laughs> Must apologize. Just one dream. Apologise for you. Dream. <laughs> <laughs> dream of Apollo from the album Alpha, which you need to go and get your hands on. Uh, this is track number 10 of 10 and a half. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, this is Anatoly, and we'll be back. Anatoly? Oh, so it's. Anatole. Oh, yeah. Anatole. Oh, it is, I suppose, it's Anatoly, isn't it? It is. Yeah. You're, well, in, you're in Halifax now, it's say it how you see it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is Anatole, but yeah. Yeah. Anatole. Phonetically. Sorry. <laughs> My, I am mistaken. <laughs> so, yeah, the last track, Anatole, and uh, we'll be back at the end of the show for a goodbye and a recap of all the links and everything else, and a goodbye. So, oh, thank you very much, guys. Thank, thank you. Much. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. And uh, give a round of applause to yourselves. Oh. Bye. Where fires are forged, that's where I was born, and it's where I'm. When I'm dead And it's easy to scorn In the cold light of morning When feathers rest under my head But when darkness creeps in And night time surrounds I can feel the fires rise in my mind It's like I can smell The brimstone of hell I can see the flames dance in his eyes
Had him in fear and was gone Twenty years wouldn't stay long past recognition Then a man caught my eye and he halted my flight Seems my heart found its newest obsession And for many a night I slept safe by his side And it seemed like I'd finally won Then I woke with a bang that was blood on my man And a toast of their whole
that is the end of the show. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, still got a dream of Apollo in the studio. Hello. Hey. Uh, the sugar is taking effect now. <laughs> if you didn't notice throughout the interview, the sugar is now in full effect. Um, so I just want to thank you guys again for coming down uh, or up. Geography way. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> That's a callback. If you were listening yeah, earlier, nice. you'll know exactly what that is. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Smooth. Just get on with it. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> There's out. <laughs> Unlock the door. <laughs> oh dear. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, as I, I think I mentioned it. Um, this is pre-recorded on the 24th of November, so things may have changed mm-hmm. since the first. So it's a good idea to check the uh, the Facebook and the Twitter to make sure you're up to date because this show may not be. Oops. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> what I've been doing today, 1st of December, is pre-recording loads of acoustic goodness, uh, Christmas covers and originals and bits and pieces like that. So for the show on the 15th and the 29th of December, that's what you're going to hear. You're going to hear a lot of that and none of me. So that's my Christmas gift to you. <laughs> I like all the fake sympathy it's nice it makes me feel wanted (laughs) so I'll be back live in the new year with a guest that I can't remember Uh, I possibly haven't booked yet I'm not entirely sure Sure, we'll be free if you need. Yeah, we'll fill in. Okay. Okay. I'll definitely have to get you in again at some point. Uh, definitely. I don't record that far in advance. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks again for coming down. Uh, thanks to everyone for listening. If you do want to keep up with Dream of Apollo, uh, you can head to the Facebook. Uh, facebook.com forward slash dream of Apollo the Twitter oh the same but with Twitter in front instead of Facebook yep. is that right <laughs> yeah. is that cheating I'm not sure I don't know uh, uh, YouTube <laughs> same again with dream of same, Apollo yeah on the same one. again forward slash dream of Apollo <laughs> and uh, the band camp no idea but go to the <laughs> 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 oh, no. dream of Apollo dot co dot uk that takes our band camp we can hear a whole album in all its glory um, please do purchase it because it's yeah. ten and a half tracks for ten pounds, <laughs> which is pretty cheap, cheap actually. Mm-hmm. And if you get in the download version, that's a hell of a lot cheaper than iTunes. Yep. It has to yeah. be ten pounds. It can give us more. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we wouldn't take, we wouldn't refuse money. I'll give us ten t-shirts yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People may be bribed with t-shirts, rooster noises, and Wookiee impressions. Yay! <laughs> It's yeah. just a standard kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of advertising thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And uh, on YouTube, we'll be posting some acoustic videos very soon for you. Very nice. I've already done it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right. This is pre-recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have already oh, heard. Yeah, the magic of video. Yeah. You know, oh, it's worth doing. <laughs> Go to YouTube and look. And if they're not there yet, just yeah. wait a bit longer. Yeah. It'll be <laughs> worth waiting for. Yeah. yeah. If you heard the live set, you already know it's worth waiting for. So exactly. There's subscribe. already some videos up there, so in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you subscribe to it, you'll get them straight to your... Is it an, it's not an inbox, but you know what I mean. The little yeah. bell thing that yeah. Google's got now. Yeah. If you use Chrome. That's oh. very browser-specific. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, then I don't know. <laughs> just keep yeah. it out. No. I'll shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> I've loved this show. This has been a good one. Uh, <laughs> thanks again for coming down. Uh, we are going to finish off the show with the uh, new one from Ricky Fleming, which is going to be redone in a full band style as well. So I'm looking forward to hearing how it changes. Um, if you stay in tune for Reggae and Dub, Rudy and Raph will be on very, very shortly. Tony will be on after that for the Blues in the Night until 1 o'clock, at which point we start just repeating shows from throughout the week. So if you're working nights and you haven't been able to listen in to something, you might get a chance to hear it again. That's good. For example, That's good, I think it? this show goes out 2 o'clock on Wednesday morning. Oh. I probably won't listen to that. So if you're still awake, yeah, <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're at work, I feel very sorry for you. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for tuning in. Guys, thanks for coming down. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you for having us. Hope to hear from you again soon. Yeah. Uh, but for now, until I return in January, sometime-ish, when I can remember uh, this is Ricky Fleming with maybe one day and thanks again Bye. cheers Bye. see ya <laughs> <laughs>